Hey, so today I'm going to be talking about Nemesis. Uh, obviously, it's on Kickstarter at the moment with the new version, which is Lockdown, which is based, instead of on a ship, based on a planet's surface in an installation. Now, I wanted to really talk about, in most of all, uh, the different versions, the different variants that you can play, which is the solo mode and the fully cooperative mode. Now, I think they stress it in the rule book and they, they make a very good point. Um, these Both these modes were unlocked during the uh, Kickstarter campaign. Um, it, Nemesis really does shine as this uh, semi-cooperative uh, game where you're trying to survive alone. Uh, it really does, does shine if your group likes... Uh, kind of that semi-co-op nature of there's there could be a traitor at all times because it just puts that element of doubt and the game really does shine with that. However, it's not for everyone. And some people, uh, you know, some players really enjoy the cooperative nature of board games. So there is a fully cooperative mode. And effectively, all you're doing in the normal game, you've got objectives. You've got personal and you've got corporate objectives. The personal objectives are quite nice. That's the best way to put it. They're relatively nice. Uh, they just require you to meet certain objectives, sending signals, getting an egg, w working out some of the weaknesses, um, reaching a different planet. Where it becomes really quite a mean game, but really good fun as well, is the cooperative. Um, uh, sorry, the corporate uh, objectives. And these, the, uh, there's one for each player that that's, and that player cannot survive. <laughs> basically says that. Uh, or that you're the only survivor. And then there's some there's some that aren't too bad in there as well, but they tend to be pretty, pretty mean. Um, so that's the corporate objectives. So obviously playing solo or co-op, uh, you can't do that because you're not trying you're not trying to kill off the other um, players or anything like that. So it has its own objective deck. OK, and it works in the same kind of way. OK. Uh, except for if you play solo, just like the normal game, you will choose, you will randomly draw three of these from the from the objective deck. And these things are things like sending the signal, all, all the rooms must be explored, uh, finish the game in ex an escape pod or hibernation um, with an intruder egg, uh, two intruder weakers must be discovered, uh, place the blue character corpse in the surgery room, so the, the corpse at the beginning of the game. Uh, the ship must reach Earth. There's even one that says the ship must reach Earth. That's probably the easiest one. Um, and things like that. So what you would do is you would draw two of these at the start. And then you only have to choose one of them once the first... <coughs> excuse me. Once the first encounter occurs, just like the normal game. Please note, though, uh, and it's important to make this, uh, that when you talk about items, when you rotate the um, the room and you choose a search action... The items are reduced by half rounding up. So that means that you haven't got, you know, you haven't got as many items because it's in solo. Okay, so now we're going to set up uh, for a solo version of this Nemesis game. Uh, the first thing I've done is you just set it up as per normal. Playing one player or two players, you always have two uh, escape pods obviously locked to start with. I've done the development bag. The only thing you add is one adult. Make sure you've got a random coordinate card and placed on B, ready with the time track on 15. Uh, shuffle the engines so you don't know if they're working or broken. And make sure you've shuffled up the exploration tokens onto each of the rooms. The twos are in the middle and the ones are on the outside. There's a blue corpse token ready to go in the middle. So as I mentioned before, we've got these special solo or co-op objective cards. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shuffle those up and we're going to draw two. And then based on those objectives, we can decide on the character. So you always do the objectives before the character draft. So we're going to grab two of those. They're going to be our, our objectives. So let's have a little look. Oh, the glare, apologies. So the ship must reach Earth or send the signal and all rooms on the ship to be explored. <laughs> well, you keep these, you don't have to decide until the first encounter, but it looks as though that's going to be the, by far the best way. Uh, we've just got to make sure it's working and it's going to Earth rather than trying to explore every single room with one 
character in the ship. So straight off the bat, I think Destination Earth, which is by far the easiest. So I'll leave those up here to start with. Uh, by the way, this is from the uh, from the expansion. I think it's really useful. Saves you having to go to the um, to the book all the time, and it's intruder bag development. What what happens with these tokens? Uh, so I've got that as reference as well, as well as obviously our player card. Okay, let's move on to the character draft. Again, shuffle the character draft cards. Um, if you want to play with the expansion, you can do. You just got to um, sub out like the. Uh, the red, blue, purple, green, white characters with the, the equivalent in the expansion. Uh, so you just use the colours rather than what, what's denoted on the character. So two cards. Let's see what we get. Captain or the scientist. Considering we don't have to do any uh, discovering the weaknesses and stuff, I think the captain is going to be the way forward. So I'm going to pick the captain. Okay, so I'm going to go and set up the board and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we've now set up uh, the captain ready to go. Uh, by the way, his two uh, quest items are pretty rubbish, so I won't be using those because it's about another player, and there are no other players. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, he's there in the hypatorium with uh, the character that he finds completely dead at the start of the mission. Uh, everything's ready. The decks are all shuffled and ready to go. So we start with our first action, which is draw. Up to five action cards. So two, four, and five. Okay. Again, interruption um, is not exactly excellent, but we'll, we'll carry on. So, and apologies about the glare. Didn't realise these sleeves would be so bad. Uh, we've got reload, order, search. A couple of searches, that's, that's really useful. So remember, objectives, what I think is going to be our objective, is reaching Earth. So we do need to go and check that coordinates. So I, I got, and I do have to check the engines, to be fair. Now, I might find uh, the room that we can check the engines on. Um, you never know. Uh, it may be one of those two rooms. Well, we'll find out. So first of all, uh, we're going to move. And I'm going to go up the top way. So my first action is to get rid of an order, which is... To be honest, it's a bit pointless. Uh, to move up to here. So whenever you move in this game, you follow the same actions as before. So it follows the same rules as the normal game. So when you search, the first thing you do is look at the exploration. That's close the door behind us. And the number, of course, tells you the number of items in the room. The room that we've got is the command centers, which we can open closed doors in, it's quite fitting, uh, with one item. So we make sure we rotate the room to the one uh, where the arrow is pointing. We also need to put a door. We need to put a door. So we've got the door closed behind us. And the next thing we need to do, of course, is roll for noise. So let's see, you get the noise dice. And we get a three. So we have to put a noise token in corridor three, which is up here. Okay, that's our first action. You do your two actions as per, per uh, round. They call it a round. It's a bit bizarre, they call it every round uh, when you do two actions, and then when you finish all your actions, you finish your turn. Um, usually, in other games, it's usually the other way around, that you do turns, and then you have a round that you finish with, but we'll go with, we'll go with what they say. So, uh, we don't need to open that door, really, we just need to keep exploring. So I'm gonna make my way, I'm gonna make my way to this area here next. So, let's get rid of interruption to move over to the next one, which is my second action. This is gonna be a broken room with two, and which room is broken? It's the cabins. Okay, this is quite useful. I could have searched, to be fair, in the red room, um, but I just wanna get going. Uh, and this is quite lucky we found this. So it's got two in there. You can search rooms that have been broken. That's not a problem. So, now we roll the dice. Uh, first of all, let's put our Broke malfunctioning token onto that room, so we can't use the cabins for its action at the moment. And, and let's do a search function. So we finished our ra our round, uh, but nothing's going to trigger at the moment. So we play uh, a search card to 
reduce the value of this room by one. And because it's a white room, I can choose which deck to, to uh, draw from. So I think I'm going to go for the uh, the tools just because they're, they're a bit more dynamic. So the two ones I have got are chemicals, which are always good, uh, and energy charge. So those two combinations won't actually craft anything. Uh, but energy charge is always useful for loading, except for my weapon, which is an, an energy weapon. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to get rid of energy charge. I mean, you can use it to open or close a door, um, but I think I'm just going to do the chemicals. I'm going to try and get a really nice um, item. Okay, so we've done a search. Uh, we might as well carry on the search, but this time I'm going to go up the red deck. Let's see if we can get another weapon. Uh, we've got... We've got another energy charge or comms key. That's pointless. So we'll take an energy charge. And it and also the comms key doesn't have any um any icon for crafting. Okay. Right, we have one more card in our hand. Oh and for you those of you who are aware, I didn't roll for noise, of course. Uh, so two in this room uh, goes onto this corridor. You always got to try and remember to do noise. It's, it's, it's so easy to forget. Um, do I want to move before? I, I probably want to stay there. So as I said, we've got one card left in our hand. Uh, do we, the question is, do we move or keep it just in case we're... Um, attacked, surprise attacked from character bag development. I think we keep going. Let, let's get to objective. So we're going to move over to here. Let's see what we got. Oh, yes. Uh, this means uh, you don't have to roll the noise dice. So it's just one item in, oh dear, in the nest, however. Nest is not the best place to uh, end up in. I've got to be honest, um, but we'll, we'll keep going. Mm. And um, we don't have to do anything with eggs, so, you know, I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, so we have finished our turn, as they call it. So now we move on to the next phase, if we have a look at it here. So we've passed, effectively, is, is, is what we nat naturally would say. Um, first, we move the time track. So, sorry, the time track's over here, so we take that down to 14. Next... Uh, there isn't the self trucks not been initiated yet. No intruders on the board, so no intruder. No fire on the board, no fire damage. So we go straight to an event. No enemies to move. Place a malfaction in the explored room with the lowest room number. Then shuffle this back into the events deck. So we get another malfunction. Uh, and to be honest, the nest can't malfunction. So there's only one room it can go in, which is the command center. Okay, now we have to shuffle this back in, so just bear with me, I'll have to put this on here while I give this a shuffle. So that was not a horrendous uh, event to draw, I mean it did break another room, so that's now two broken rooms, and it follows exactly the same rules as before, that if you get, if you have to draw a fire or malfunction token when you haven't got any left, um, to draw from you lose the game. Right, intruder bag development. Let's see what we get. A creeper. So this is what this this bag is really useful for. We just look at this now. Remove this token from the bag and add one breeder token from the bag into the bag. Sorry, not from the bag. So we come over to our board. We get a breeder. Put that into the bag, and then that's all that happens. No noise to be made though which is really nice. Okay, round two, next round. So, draw up to five cards, first of all, which is the remaining five cards. Let's see what we got with this. We've got rest. We won't have any uh, search, unfortunately. We can, we've got some basic repairs, which could be quite good. Uh, we could shuffle through using this. This is including yourself. So it's a way of recycling through, which is probably gonna be worth it. 
Uh, I don't want to get out of the nest. <laughs> and I basically want to check the coordinates. So to be honest, I'm probably just going to do that anyway. So let's get rid of the rest card. To move into here, let's roll the dice. Obviously there's no uh, exploration token in the cockpit, so you just, you'll have to roll the dice no matter what. Whoops, and we get a four, which is noise in the south corridor. Okay, so we've done that. Next, we want to check the coordinates. So, if we read the, uh, the board in terms of uh, what it says, it's two to check the coordinates. Or it's two to set the coordinates. So remember, our objective is to go to Earth. So if this is not going, if B is not Earth, we're going to have to spend two to check it, and then we're going to spend a further two to change it. So it is expensive. Let's get rid of these two. So we're going to check the coordinates. Let's see where we go. Uh, we are not, we're going to deep space, so we need to go to D. We need to go to D. So I'm going to spend my last two to change our coordinates to D. So now at least we are going to Earth, which meets this. Now we just want to make sure that the ship's not going to blow up because of the engines. Okay, that's, that's all, all my rounds and all my turns completed. So now we move on to the next phase. Move the time track down to 13. Next. No uh, self-destruct, no intruders, no fire. So let's see what our event is. Move every adult not in combat to a neighboring room with a character, if possible. If there are several rooms to choose from, that should be two. Choose from, move the adult to the room with the lowest number. There are no enemies at all. So that's just uh, a brilliant event, nothing happens. Let's see what our intruder bag gives us. Oh dear. Now, <laughs> fortunately this wasn't a, uh, an, an encounter. The queen, return this token to the bag. If there is a character in the nest room, place the queen miniature there. Whoo, we were close. <laughs> um, that's fine, we don't have to do that. If there are no characters in the nest, add one egg token to the intruder board. So again, don't have to roll for noise, which is really nice. Uh, but we do have to put an egg in to the nest. So now there are six eggs in the nest, uh, which makes a lot of eggs, uh, to be completely honest. But that's fine. Uh, we'll put another egg into the nest. Excuse me. Um, and that's the end of that turn. Moving on to the next one. As per always, once you've run out of cards to draw from the action card deck, you just shuffle up your di whole discard pile and you start to draw from that. So let's do that now. Uh, the, by the way, the quality of these cards is really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, except for I found when shuffling them that they, they got frayed edges. So uh, I 100% had to sleeve them. Uh, just cheap sleeves. But um, yeah, I think, it, I think it's worth sleeving them, to be honest. Okay, there's my five cards. So now we've gone from there, we've got to make our way all the way over to here. And, and basically... If we can get over to here, make sure that the engines are okay, we can go into the Hydatorium as soon as we've reached um, the eighth spot on the time track. So I think they, sh well, let's see. Hopefully they coincide pretty well. Uh, a few little tips about this game. Uh, number one, avoid lava. If you, if you have to get lava on your board, that's really dangerous. There's quite, there's some vents, there's some, st the, some attacks. They basically say, if you've got lava on, you die. Also, just remember as well, when you get a contamination card and you have to um, look at it, it's also the case here. If you have a lava on your character board, you die. <laughs> so there's a few ways you can literally just die straight away. Uh, so a little bit of a tip is just, if you do get a lava on you, you need to get rid of it quick by going to the surgical room, um, the surgery. So my choices now are to kind of come around this way I want to come around this way so I can explore some more rooms. Uh, however, I have got noise in here. 
but it's only a it's only a one in ten chance. So um, sorry, not one in ten, a one in um, a one in five chance of of it happening. So I think we'll still go with that. Right. So do do do. Uh, this is pointless order, so I'm just going to use my order. Let's move to here. Oh, look at that. No noise roll. Uh, what have we got? And no, I'm not broken either. Ah, oh, the fire control. This is a really nice uh, room to have. Just because it means that if you start to get fire in your ship, you can just turn it out from there. Or you can put fire into a room. Especially if you've got uh, an, an enemy that's uh, nearby you. Okay, so we've got one yellow... Uh, do you know what? I think I will search as my second action just to, while I'm over here, just to see what we get in terms of these. Ah, tools are always good. Um, so tools and chemicals. So these two symbols up here, they can be used to craft a flamethrower. So that's nice. And tools are just really good and handy. So that's a no brainer. That's going with tools. Love it. That's awesome. End of that round, um, nothing to really do, so let's carry on. Demolition, rest, motivation, let's do rest. Uh, which means uh, to move, apologies if you're wondering what I was using it for, to come over here. Uh, another broken room, that's not good. Oh, we've got the airlock, this is a fun room. Especially if you can get if you can get aliens in the yellow room, uh, that's that's awesome. Um, you, can, you can set the airlock, um, the airlock procedure and try and blow them out into space. It's really cool. Uh, but we have got a broken room there, uh, which is a bit not great. Not great. Still no encounter though yet. <laughs> I might have just uh, jinxed that. <laughs> Let's see what we get. One. No, not yet. Not yet. Not, not totally. Ah, and if anyone's been paying attention, I've missed the golden rule from solo players because I'm not really used to it. Um, this one is now ex uh, expediated, so is this one. And this one, because it's, it's rounded up, it would have had one on it. Remember, the number of items that are going to be in a room are rounded up, rounded down, sorry, a half rounded up. So this had one in, rounded up is one. Uh, this one had two in, so it should only had one, which I used. And this one had um, two in. No, I had one in. Oh, sorry, so it should be on one. Because I didn't search that room. Did I search that twice? Yes, I did, didn't I? Hmm. Okay, so it was on that. So it had three. So I think that had three, which means I searched it twice to put it there, which means it would have had two to start with, so that's still fine. It's just depleted now. I think that's right, I might have got that wrong. So this instead of four should have two. Okay, remembering that rule, that half the number of items in a room. That's my bad. So hopefully I haven't cheated too badly there. Uh, right, okay, next one. Uh, again, nothing to worry about triggering or anything. I think I'm gonna do motivation on myself to draw a card. Let's see if I get something a bit more useful. Not really. Um, so I think I'm gonna come down to here so let's get rid of demolition. Let's get rid of demolition. Um, we are slimed uh, with four. And we found the armory, ooh, which you can recharge your, if I had one, it can recharge. And so it'd be four going down to two. So two items in there. And we are slimed. So need to mark that on your board. And remember, the biggest thing with slime is uh, on a roll of an X on the uh, noise dice, it actually is the same as danger, which isn't good. Talking of which, let's see what happens. Uh, a one. Uh, so, ooh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, that might have changed my mind now. That may well have changed my mind. I'm now, th I was going to use this one card to move, uh, but with a kind of like a really high chance of rolling noise. Whereas this is, hmm, don't know. Um, I think we keep the one, the one card just in case. Okay, so we finished our turn. Move the time track. 
So we're down to 12. No, no, no. What's the event? Noise and technical. Place a noise marker in a technical corridor. Nope. So uh, there isn't one already in there. So we don't have to worry about that. In fact, I am in a room with a technical corridor, so that would have been not that great. It does mean, though, if I do draw, so that goes over there. If I do draw um, a adult out of this intruder bag development, I will have to roll for noise and I have to get a four or a danger or a, um, it's basically a four in something. Oof, it's the queen. Okay, I'm not rolling for noise. That's a good thing. I'm putting another egg into the nest. She goes back into the bag. So let's get another egg. Ran out of eggs. There's only two left. That's fine. So another egg onto the board. And that's the end of that turn. So I still have this one card, which is cool. Um, by the way, when I passed, I was able to, I, if I wanted to, I could have got rid of this, but there's no point. So let's draw four more. Two, three, four, and five. Now we got a search. So I think it makes sense just to keep, oh, what could craft a flamethrower? Just for a bit of fun. Um, I think we got to just, just go for our objective, to be completely honest. Um, so I'm going to do a search action first to knock that down to one. Grab two of these. Evacuation key is always nice in case. Uh, also smoke. Oh, these are both good. These are both good. If you're in a room with the evacuation section room, lock on lock one of the switch for evacuate. Use in a room you're in. All other characters in the room lose one action. You move to a neighboring room and intruders don't attack you during that movement. I'm gonna keep the smoke grenade. I think I'm gonna go hypertorium in a sec, that's fine. Okay. By the way, if the ship blows up, it doesn't meet this objective. Even if you're, you've done on, a, on an escape pod. So that's quite important to make out as well. Okay. Uh, cool, that's my first action. My second action is going to be to move using uh, interruption. Let's see what we get. Close the door behind us with two items in it. And the room is a storage. So we can just search any item deck. Uh, for the room action. It's not broken. Uh, let me just grab a room door. And put this behind us, and then we need to roll the famous dice. Let's see what happens. Oh, danger! Uh, not too bad. It just means that we just put there's no there's no enemies nearby, so we just put a noise token in all atta attaching corridors. Okay, let's keep. I reckon let's just keep moving. Let's get to that that room. Uh, I probably want basic repairs just in case I have to obviously uh, reload not reload, repair the engines. I spend, you know what? I'm going to spend two. Yes, I'm going to spend two to carefully move into here. Number one, just to show you what careful movement is. It means that, now you have to decide beforehand, because if this reaches a thing with an X, it means I've just wasted it. I'm going to put it up here. Let's have a little look. And it's danger. So that's fine. Uh, we don't, hmm. Oh, I don't know if that's good, actually. Uh, I think that means I have to put, just like normally, yeah, yeah, it is. Normally I have to put them, so uh, actually that is going to get the danger anyway uh, with one item in this room. And the room we have is the lab. So lab with one item. Like so. Cool. Okay, uh, I mean, to be honest, exploring all the rooms... That's not looking so bad. I, I've not found the signal room yet. But you know, these move one. I don't want to spend that. Oh, now I'm in a dilemma. If I move to here, it's very likely I'll I'm just going to have to stay here. So yeah, we'll stay here. We've got a smoke grenade just in case we need to use it. Um, and I don't really want to uh, craft an item because I don't want to lose this. I, this, I need this card, basically, is what I'm saying. So move the time track down to 11. No intruders, no fire, no self-destruct. So let's see what our event is. Uh oh. Oh no, here we go. 
I hate when fire starts. So fire and a hibernatorium. Hibernatorium. Uh, no, we don't need fire. Does not spread through closed doors or technical doors. So we've now got the place we need to go on fire. Well, I say the place we need to go. We could potentially go to one of these uh, escape pods if we have to, uh, but we have to keep exploring for that. Right, let's see what intruder bag development gives us. A lava. And if we have a little look at our lava, I believe it turns into a creeper. An adult, sorry, not creeper. It, yeah, it does. So remove the lava, let's put that on the bottom. Get an adult, more chance of noise to be rolled and put that into the bag. Cool, next round. I'm gonna put this down because I need to shuffle my deck. So we shuffle our discard. And we're on 19 minutes. And you can, the other beauty of playing solo, especially when you know how to play the game, is it's really quite quick. It's, it's not a fast game, but you do lose that element. For me, you just lose that element of uh, semi-co-op or even with co-op. Playing with players and the table talk that, that goes around with this game, it's just so good, but it's still, a, it's still a good game. I suppose I've been quite lucky. Anyway, so next turn, let's uh, get into the engine room then. So I'm gonna, ooh, actually I could search. No, I don't really need it at the moment. Basic first order. Let's do an order action to move into here. Now, do I want to roll? No. So I'm actually going to get rid of demolition as well to just make sure because I'm not drawing a exploration token here. So I'd rather just place the noise so I can get the job done, which is Okay, check the engines for two. Um, I think, let's just have a little look. Yeah, so I keep the basic repairs and let's have a little look. Oh, sorry. It is working, we don't need to repair that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I probably want to move. You know what? Let's move. Doom! Broken room again. And it is the surgery. That's where you can do the. Uh, you can get rid of lava. Uh, and it's got one item in it because we round down. And I need to put a broken token, a malfunctioning marker, sorry, onto that room. Okay, there's, I'm not very good at repairing. I'm just I'm just praying that I can just run around and get out of here before that happens. Let's see what happens. A two. We're still all right. We still haven't got an encounter somehow. So you'll notice this about playing solo because you're only playing with one character. You're less likely to draw an encounter early game. So I don't know what round we're on, like four or five, and we still haven't got an encounter. Right, okay. So I've placed that down. I've run out of cards. I pass. Let's move the track on to 10, I believe we're on now. Uh, enough, uh, there is some fire, but there's nothing to damage in that area. So let's go straight to an event. Open all doors. Fair enough. Cool. We'll take that. So let's get rid of those doors a minute. Let's put them over there. Okay, true to bag development. Can I, can I skip the adult again? Not this time. We do get the adult at last. I was waiting for that to happen. Right, here we go. When you get adult, you roll the dice. We get a four. Ah, uh, that, that will do it. So, noise goes away. We draw an encounter. Here we go. So, now the game starts. <laughs> we get an adult, uh, which obviously is going to attack us, because obviously uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Let's put the adult in there. Grab an adult figure, comes into the room with us. Lovely, jubbly. And uh, let's see what he does. One light wound and one contamination. Okay, I'm just gonna put it here just while I sort this out. So, one light wound, 
could be far worse. I've got to be honest, it could be far, far worse. Contamination always goes into uh, your discard pile. And by the way, I've uh, shuffled those. Mm, okay, not great. And now I've got this guy with me. Let's see what we draw. I'm now half tempted to cr uh, to craft a flamethrower. Hmm. No, I'm going to say you can't craft well in battle. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's draw our five cards. Uh, one, two, three, four, and we have. I was wondering when I might get the suppressive fire. Scarred one ammo. Move yourself. One are chosen within without triggering intruder attack. Uh, it's a no brainer. Absolute no brainer. So I'm not going to try and attack him. You'll probably notice in this game that you don't really want to just spend your time trying to attack stuff. I'm still going to have to roll noise. Still a chance. There's still a one in five chance that he's going to follow me anyway. Um, but you know we'll, we'll risk it. We get a two. That's good. And especially because it's noise behind me. Happy, happy, happy. Right, uh, if this engine is fixed, we are all good. If it's not, I haven't got a, I haven't got a, um, I haven't, oh yes I have, yes I have, I've got my tools, haven't I? Repair, break, engine, in the engine we were in. Sweet. Okay, let's, uh, let's spend two cards and then we can do that. I'm gonna get rid of that and that. Let's see. Oh, it is damaged. We are going to have to fix it. So I'm going to have to spend my reload to spend my tools to fix that engine. So I put the working one on top. I now know these two are working. We've got two of the three working. So now I can make my way back uh, to sort out that. So in fact, I'm just going to use my search to get into this room. Uh, it's another broken room. I've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, so that's down to two items being rounded up, half the rounded up. And let's roll the dice. Uh, that, because I'm slimed, that is actually danger. So we need a malfunctioning marker, first of all, uh, in this room. So let's get the malfunction marker. Then we need to put noise attached to every room, oh, every corridor, sorry, attached to this room. That's not ideal, but you know, we're, we're not dead yet. So I think we're all right. We have got one contamination card, which I'm a little bit concerned about, but we'll, we'll deal with that when it comes to it, especially because the surgery is here. We have got three, three malfunction markers left. Okay, so I think we're okay. Anyway, run out of cards. Let's move the time track down to nine. Now we're gonna soon be able to go into the hibernatorium. Uh, the let's see where the event no fire damage to worry about so let's go adult moves down too he's following me oh that's not good in the explored raw oh, man okay right so let me put this down here for a second uh is there any rooms yes there is so another malfunction mark is going down in the room with the lowest number to do this by the way You'll see next to all the rooms, starting from over this way, and then you go across. So it's probably gonna be number four, I imagine. Yes, it's gonna be this room here, which has got the malfunction marker on it. We then shuffle the events back into the event deck as, as direct to on the card. And we're ready to, well, not really ready. Now we have to choose. <laughs> Don't be an adult, don't be an adult, don't be an adult. It's an adult. Oh, oh, this is not good. So I think we're gonna get an encounter number, no matter what I roll, because uh, danger or a, a silence means that this in, this uh, alien will come in. A, um, but it means it doesn't trigger a, um, a surprise attack. So at least it's that. No, I have to get a new one. So one, two, three of them. Here we go. Let's see what we get. It's another adult with two, so he's gonna attack me as I've got no cards left in my hand. Here he comes. Let's put him there. 
Okay, he attacks me with a bite. I've got no serious wounds, so I'm going to suffer a serious wound. Here's my serious wound deck, and we get. Okay, we get a hand. Not ideal. Oh, but sorry, sorry, I completely forgot as well. I have to choose one of these. Uh, as I said before, it's obvious which one I'm going to be choosing, and that should have happened right when that alien first appeared. Um, apologies. Uh, so you always got to choose your objective as soon as the uh, you have an encounter. Uh, but I was, I was always going to do this one anyway, so it's not really a big difference. So all of my actions cost, um, item actions is cost increased by one. Okay, we've got a smoke. Yeah, we got our smoke. We got a smoke grenade uh, that will cost us two now, but it still might be worth it. Right, that's the end of that turn. So now we move on to my first round. I've got to get my deck shuffled and draw five cards. We have got a gun. The six seat shooter is a nice gun as well. Um, but I just think it's a little bit of, I just got to get, <sighs> unfortunately there's fire, uh, which means I'm going to get light wound after every round. So that means after every two actions, I get a light wound. But you know, you can still go into, you can still go to sleep in the fire. So that's fine. Uh, we've got, oh, we've got suppressive fire again. Awesome. So we've got our suppressive fire again, if we need to use it. Hang on a minute, do I? I'm trying to remember now. I used suppressive fire last time and didn't get rid of an ammo cube, I believe. So that should be like that. So. You know what? Let's just use it again. Spend another ammo cube. Whoops. And we're going to go over to here. Uh, <laughs> slimed room. That's fine. I'm already slimed. With two items in the engine control room. We can check the status of the engines. Uh, with two items two items in it uh, it's not malfunctioning which is, thank god um, roll the dice is he going to follow me no he's not uh, four is uh, it's not what I wanted I didn't want any noise attached to here ideally uh, that, that's annoying right that is my first action I do not want to move into a fire room for the end of my action because I'm going to take a light wound so let's do a search in this room taking it down to one let's see if we can get some clothes or something oh fire extinguisher <laughs> I got a fire extinguisher absolutely awesome oh dear now it's all going wrong it's all going wrong okay. uh, so the fire extinguisher is really really quite key for this love it that's so cool I'll get rid of the tools the tools are really strong as well but no, that's way too good. Awesome. Right, that's the end of my round. So now I'll move on to the next round. So I want to move, and then I want to uh, use my fire extinguisher, which I've just got enough cards for. So move into here, roll the noise dice. We get a two. So now we're getting a lot of noise round, and I'm going to spend my last two actions because my hand injury to use the fire extinguisher, which says discard the fire that you're in. So that, and there we are. We are ready to go to sleep because that track is about to go down one. It's gonna have timed it better. All that we need now is that contamination card to be uh, contam contaminated. <laughs> there is a bit of noise there, that's my issue, and, it, and that's about to increase as well, probably. Let's, let's see what happens anyway. Move the time track, self truck not on, intruder attack, no intruders with me, no fire damage. And resolve event card. Let's go for it. Uh, they don't move, because adults don't move. And they heal two injuries. I've not injured them, so that was quite non-eventful for an event card, which I like. Oh man, there's so much noise on the board. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course it was an adult. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens. Oops, sorry, I don't know why I just did that. Okay. Right, I get an X, but I'm slimed. So uh, that's going to be noise and noise. So there's basically a one in five chance, if I want to, that I am able to go to sleep straight away. 
in this next turn. Let's draw our five cards anyway. One, there's the contamination card. Two, I won't have the rest card, so I can't check it. Four and five, I and mean, I can't use it. Probably even worse. Hmm. Do I just risk it? Do I just risk it? Yeah, why not? Order. Ooh. Motivation. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one first just to see what, uh, what card this is. It's a search. Okay. So I'm just gonna get rid of uh, those two. I'm gonna have a go at the Hypertorium. That means you've got to roll this dice. If I don't trigger an encounter, I go to sleep and basically I won the game. So it could be that quick. What do you think my chances are? Let's give it a go. Not good. Uh, right, four. Uh, that was always gonna happen, I think. Now, the question is what comes out? I bet you it's the queen. I bet you it's the queen. This, ha this happened so many times. Oh! So you're lava, and it won't attack. Ooh, and now no noise. <gasps> this could be nice. I've got three, two cards. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. A lava, you just have to do one damage of any kind. Oh man, I haven't got enough cards. I do not have enough cards to go to sleep this time, but it's, it's still really quite, that was really useful. I'm gonna spend one card, one ammo to have a shot. As long as it's not a blank, it's not. It's a kill. He dies. You put a intruder carcass onto the board. Because it still counts as an intruder. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I will pass and I will just discard that card. I'm gonna keep this card. No, you know what? I'm gonna give her both. No, 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 no. Don't see him do that. Okay, um, I'm happy about that. I'm really happy about that. Cool. Okay, fancy time track. One. No, they don't move, blah, blah, blah. They do now move down corridor four. So this one comes down to here. And this one, they swap positions, basically. Placing the noise in a technical corridor. Uh oh. There is noise in the technical corridor. Oh, I'm, uh, each character room with a technical corridor rolls. Dice. I'm not in a room with technical corridor. Ooh, true to bag development. Oh, come on. Don't be, don't be an adult. Come on. Come on. Blank. Ah, oh, it's an adult. It's an adult. Right. Let's roll this dice. Please, <laughs> please don't be dangerous silence. Oh, no. Just when I thought it was going so well. Boom, 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 boom. Teaching me right for not getting some clothes, I suppose. Oh, that's annoying me. All right, let's draw four cards. Let me shuffle my deck again. Uh, thought I had it then. Uh, if we get our contamination again and no rest, of course. Ay, ay, ay. Right, okay, well, we might as well have a go and go. Um, order and demolition. Here we go. Now we do want to get an X or a, or a symbol. No, of course we don't. Boom, boom. <laughs> we will do it one day. Come on, give me something rubbish again. Oh. <laughs> Would you believe it? Oh my words. Um, that's lucky. And we're back to stage one again. Exactly the same as what we did before. We've got to spend one card to shoot it. And one ammo. We roll this dice. We get a hit. We kill that. I'm not going to bother putting more um, carcasses. You would normally onto the table, but I just can't. There's, it's not my objective. It's not what I care about. Oh, discard this. I'm going to risk that, by the way. Um, and I'll keep the search. And uh, we'll go for it again. So we're going down six. Uh, let's see what's happening with everyone. Uh, the adults don't move. If it is, so we've got to put noise next to every um, corridor, next to the nest, which is these two. That, that's fine, I don't care about that. Right, <sighs> come on. Don't roll noise, don't roll noise, don't roll noise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Ooh, breeder. I think that is. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same as roll noise. Oh dear. Come on, just just a single number. Oh, I can't believe it. The fact I'm slimed and I keep getting X's. Oh, this is killing me. Literally, I think it will kill me. Oh, this is this is nuts. I can't go to sleep. <laughs> okay, right. Draw the five card up to five cards. So three, four, and five. We've got the rest, but obviously not the other card. Uh, there's no point. The good news is I've got five actions. I haven't got that stupid contamination card. So if I draw a lava again, we'll see. Right, uh, any cards? You know what? I'm gonna spend this first of all, see if I can get something that I can use. A reload, that's quite nice. Okay, uh, search interruption, they're going away. Let's see what we get. And I never I never roll it. Yep, four, so one, so we're back to... It's like Groundhog Day. Right, don't be a queen, don't be a queen. Don't be a queen, there's not many, in fact, is there any lavas left in here? It's an adult, and it doesn't attack me. Oh uh, dear, uh, we knew that was gonna happen at some point. Uh, right, so we can't sleep while there is an enemy with me. Uh, I guess we start pounding them. Uh, so annoying. Rest, ammo, roll dice, miss. <laughs> oh dear. Search, ammo. This this adds one ammo to my six. Oh, this is really not good. And this is where your the game. Oh man. Ah, oh, it's, it's all gone wrong. You know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend this to run away. I'm gonna have to have to draw them out. Uh, good news is he misses. Whew, that was lucky. Uh, I have to still roll a noise dice. I kept the X this time, uh, but again because I am because I am slimed. Uh, the slimes are really screwing me over. Um, I don't know where the shower room is. Somewhere up the top there. Oh, this is brutal. Right, five turns. Let's see. Oops. Let's see what's happening. Down two, corridor two. He's away from there. He comes in. He goes down. So I've now been. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Oh God. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, let's see if we blow up the ship. We've got two malfunction markers left. Green runes. Okay. Malfunctioned, malfunctioned. Not malfunctioned. We aren't going to blow the ship up yet. My word. That is, I believe, is... Um, where is it? It's removed from the game. Yep, and then shuffle up the deck. So let me just do that a second. Oh dear. Right, the good news is the alien's gone away. Oops, gone away. The bad news is, a one, oh, oh, it's gonna be next to impossible to be able to escape. Uh, I don't know what the best thing to do. I've got no ammo. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wow, right, intruder bag development. <laughs> Uh, it's a lava, so that's going to go out of the bag and turn into an adult. <laughs> the one time when I don't have to, don't have to roll noise is uh, when that's when I draw that. Right, one. Sorry, I'm going to have to shut my deck. We've got suppressive fire. We've got suppressive fire. That's handy. That's, that's that's good. And then four more. The others, we got the contamination card, and again, no. No, um. Right, what I could do. Nah. <laughs> right, okay. 
Okay. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think I can do suppressive fire, and it says uh, uh, move yourself. I can do a a careful movement as long as I spend two. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, I c oh no, I can't. I can't because you need an ammo. Oh, I ruined this so badly. I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, nice. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna spend two cards to. Um... Oh. I'll... Spend that first. Sorry, spend motivation first to draw a card. And then I'll use order and um, search to do a careful movement away from here. Uh, he doesn't attack. <gasps> no adult symbol. Uh, I don't roll the dice. I'm gonna place. <laughs> I'm gonna place it on a one. I'm going for two or three. Here's my last two cards. Can I at last a two or a three? Uh, yeah, two or three, that's it. Oh no, it's a one! It's a one! Oh dear. Oops. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm never gonna escape this, this ship. I'm never gonna escape this ship. And he attacks, surprise attacks me as well. Let's uh, watch the demise of the captain. Uh, that's another one. Uh, he attacks me by not attacking me Whew. so how am i surviving it oh that's it doesn't look good does it it really does not look good you know what? i'm gonna keep that to do the rest action i think i'm a bit screwed i am a bit boobard um i could go over here and search for a weapon that might be my best play i reckon Oh, brutal. Oh, I could come over to this. Oh, where's the uh, token gone? Uh, just get a random one. Let's put a random one on there. I don't know where that went. How bizarre. Uh, but if that breaks, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know what my best play is. Anyway, that's the end of my round. So move this on one. We now do the intruder attack, which misses. <laughs> wow. Uh, we do the event. They don't move. Set item count on zero with a fire marker. There is no fire markers. There's no fire markers. No fire markers, nothing happens. Intruder bag. I'm engaged, so at least I don't have to make a roll. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wow. One, two, three, four. I have reload. Just to point out, I have re Oh, sorry, I, I would have discarded contamination, of course. I don't want contamination. Uh, I have reload. I have reload. So I could do some damage. Um, oh man, this is brutal. I'm half tempted to go and find this room. Oh, sorry, I can't see what I'm talking about. It's coming a bit further now. It's just getting quite annoying. I want, oh God, I've got many rounds. Uh, I'd find it very hard to kill him without spending a lot of <laughs> contamination cards. Uh, absolutely brutal. Um. Let's uh it's not much I can do while he's there. Um okay, let's reload. And then I'll shoot him using a uh, inter interruption card. So there's my uh, cube. Can can I move them? No, you move into a neighbor room, so Mm. I don't know, it's probably not the best uh, plan. Right, I need it. Give me a double. Oh, this is a disaster. I miss. I miss. Right, I'm going to go with my original idea. I'm going to go demolition and I'm just going to flee into there. So, first of all, the attack. Bite. Uh, I haven't got two serious wounds, I've got one, but I get another serious wound. Oh, now we're, no, we're dead. 
I can only carry one heavy object. That's not a massive problem. Uh, now we roll for, uh, first of all, what's this? Oh, a, a slight respite. Um, no, no rolling. Uh, it's the hatch control system. I don't really care about that. Um, <laughs> to be honest, it's not there. Yeah, it's not going to exactly help. And then we roll the dice for noise. Where is it? Where is it? The black dice is there. Let's have a look. Uh, three. Okay, so we put noise over in corridor three. Hmm. And then I'm going to do a search action to try and get a weapon. So let's go hunting on the red. Ah, oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? No, 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 no. I won't do a search action. I just had a thought. I'm going to do a rest action to craft an item. I've got no enemies with me. I can now for use these two items. Oh no, I got rid of the... Oh, I got rid of the tools. I will do a search action. <laughs> Never mind. Do I get... Of course I don't. Oh, I do! I got a weapon! How is that possible? I can only carry one weapon. Bye bye, six shooter. Um, oh man, that is so lucky. Uh, that's got... Six ammo. Oh man, that's so lucky. Every time you roll double, you can discard one additional ammo to do one additional injury. I've got something to protect myself with. This may not be over. May not be over. Um, we'll see if I know. Cool. Well, I won't call it cool. I've run out of cards. <laughs> We're down to three. Oh my word. Um, no intruders are going to attack me, so they don't move. Oh, I needed him to move. Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> this is back on fire. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that was the event, so that's after the fire as well. Oh, brutal. Right, I kind of want to get an adult. Oh, queen. I just put an egg in. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's just not coming out the way I need it to. Uh, that's the last egg. I don't really care about that. I'm not here to destroy the nest. Uh, let's shuffle these up and draw five. Oh, this is brutal. Uh, I've just got to, I don't know. I really don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Shoomph. We got the contamination and rest. Mm, okay. Might actually have a look at it. Why not? Okay. Right. Oh, this is... Don't know, don't know. Now the good news is, if I move into here, I don't have to make a noise roll because obviously I'll be straight engaged and then I can just start pounding. I think that is my best option rather than scan this contamination card even. So I'm gonna spend one search to just move in. I've got one more action, I'm gonna take a light wing. <laughs> oh dear. In this game, you can take three wounds and then if you, if you have to take another um, uh, serious wound, you're dead. So uh, let's get rid of interruption to have a little shooty shooty. One cube off. Come on. Let's go. Hey, we hit, we hit, we hit. Now, we, uh, I didn't roll this, so it's just one. So he's on one damage. Is he dead from one damage? No. Surprise, surprise. We take one light wound for being inside a fire room at the end of our round. Next, demolition. One cube. Come on. Obviously we missed. Rest. <laughs> One cute. Oh, this, this is just not nice. <sighs> of course we missed. How many of them are on this dice? Two of them. Yeah, it's 50-50 on this, I suppose. It's, it's, it's brutal. The, the game's not supposed to be for uh, damaging them. Also, I think I did that slightly wrong. I oh, no. No, because it's per round. Uh, that was right. I should have... I should have rolled both of them before I would have drawn one of those, but obviously I didn't. I didn't. Um, I didn't hit with any. So, oh, I still draw. I think. I think I still draw. It's because I still did an attack, uh, just in case it's a uh, he clears off. I'll discard my uh, demolition. Uh, my contamination. Sorry. Uh, we're down to two. This is not looking good. Uh, the uh, intruder attacks first, and then we do fire damage. Oh, by the way, I should have took a another light wound, which is a serious wound because I finished my turn on there. 
uh, which is now I've lost bleeding. Every time you pass in the player phase, your character suffers one light wound, which would have taken effect uh, straight away. So that's another light wound. Uh, intruder attacks. Did I just draw that? No, I didn't. Intruder attacks. He bites me. I die. Two serious wounds, they die. And that is me, Kaplunked. It is tough, especially especially trying to go to sleep. I always find that, that you try and roll the dice and that slime really, really did uh, cause me to die. Um, but that's a playthrough of the solo. It, it's still great fun, don't get me wrong. I, I still love it. The tension, the kind of, the mechanics, it, it's really nice. You can see we've got a bit of an infestation of um, adults. I did manage to find a gun, which was gave me a glimmer of hope, but the rolls killed me. They absolutely killed me. Um, well, they didn't, the, that alien killed me, but, um, yeah, you see what I mean? So, I mean, pff, I lost, so perhaps my tactics aren't, aren't the, aren't the best. Just remember, you can careful move, I think that's really quite important. Uh, maybe I should have just got the flamethrower and just, just used it to just flame everyone. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, the ship was going to Earth, I just didn't survive. Maybe trying to go and find the, uh, I mean, we had the catch control system, so we could have unlocked one. Uh, we didn't find any of the, so the, they're up here somewhere. There's evacuation A and there's evacuation B. So I could have gone on the skate pod. That, that could have certainly be, been an option that rather than keep trying over here, come around over here. But there was so much noise everywhere that it didn't look hopeful. Um, so that was a little solo. I mean, there's, there's, there's quite a few videos out there to show playthrough videos. Uh, but I just thought I'd just show the solo version while we're uh, stuck, still uh, quarantining at home, uh, just so we can play our favourite games um, while we're still just us, rather than playing on virtual, on Tabletop Simulator or Tabletopia, which is never as good as playing the real thing. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.